people. It has been a long day of washing my hair, doing a protein treatment on my hair, deep conditioning my hair, hold on, I'm dripping on my face. And now I wanted to take advantage of just of the day of having a hair day and trying to shoot as many videos as possible. So I'm gonna do something that is gonna be the start of a little series of a few different series that I think I've started today, but this is gonna be one called my hair nista must haves. And it, when each of these videos I wanna focus on a hair product or a hair tool that I absolutely cannot live without and I think that you guys would love to try. Oh my God, I'm still dripping, <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. So my first hair needs to must have of this whole series is going to be the Kiss Handleless Blow Dryer. I first saw this on Instagram. Um, one of my fellow beauty girls, Cur um, Lexi with the curls, or curly girl Lexi, had this post and I have been looking for something because it has always been such a headache to try to blow dry my hair. I never could really do it because I'm trying to do the brush and hold the blow dryer and I'm not like, I can't do it and it would always just look like a little bit of a civil rights postage stamp and I was just like this is not the move so when I saw this I was like oh my god this is like the answer to my prayers and it was only $29 I think it was $29.99 I got it on Amazon and what's so cool about it is that it literally is what it says it is handle less it has the um, you know all your regular settings off cool low off cold low and high I love it, it comes with the regular attachments, the comb, and also the vent so you can still smooth. So this has been a lifesaver for me, still dripping. This has been a lifesaver for me because I've been for most of the winter wearing protective style. So in order to do that, my hair has to be cornrowed in the back. So I still need to blow it out. Now, as you all also know, I've been talking a lot about the heat damage that I have. So what I've been doing to minimize the amount of heat that I have to use is blow drying it on low to go in and smooth it out. The front, I'm still playing around with whether or not I need to blow dry it or not for styling. I've been able to kind of get away with not doing it, but for the sake of some of the videos that I want to go in and knock out in the next few days before I put my piece back on, I'm going to probably for today go in and blow dry the entire thing on low just so I can have a little bit more manageability for the styles that I'm going to do. So this is the Handleless Kiss Blow Dryer. I'm going to show you guys my blowout and that is going to be what we have for today. One other thing that I forgot to mention that I'm going to use today, uh, because again, I've been talking a lot about heat damage and trying to protect myself, is one, another, I don't know how new it is from Cream of Nature, but I just started using it and maybe that's part of the problem I had when I had the heat damage. But it's the Argan Oil Anti-Humidity Gloss and shine mist and this is great to spray on you know i've actually been using this even when i've been styling the front with just twist outs and the flexi rod sets on its own to fight humidity but it's also great to use if you're going to be blow drying or using any other heat like a wand or a flat iron or something like that so it's pretty cool it's nice and light smells good gives a little shine and again i'm going to spray it on each section before i blow dry it so and this has already been detangled out of the shower i sprayed my trusty seven in one leave-in so i figured you, didn't, you guys didn't need to see that because you've seen it so that's been sprayed on, sectioned off, and I like to start from the back and go from there. And here we go. Again, for real this time.
enough of the foolishness. So, this has been my hair needs to must have. This honey right here, this kiss red blow dryer is everything. Handle less. No, I love it. It's amazing. Because normally, I'm not able to do all this bicep myself. If I had to try to hold a blow dryer and hold a brush and try to smooth it. So, in the effort to preserve my hair, because Operation Get My Hair Back is in full effect, I did all of this on low. I also used, again, my Cream of Nature, Argan Oil, Shine Mist, Anti-Humidity, Gloss and Shine Mist, and as it says, it protects from heat damage and all of those things, and I love it because I do have to blow this out once every, well, maybe about once a month to switch out my piece. Now, as I said before, for the most part, I'm not going to even blow out the front of my hair anymore, but for the sake of going on and doing these videos before I put the piece on, I wanted to blow it out on low so I could manipulate it a little easier to show you some of the styles that I'm gonna do. And then, once I put my piece back on, I will show you the magic that is my Indian hair situation. And I have three of them, and I'll show you how to play around with all three. One has color, one is longer, more full, and one really closely mimics my own hair. So it's like, hmm, is it live or is it something else? Anyway, this is my Wild Girl Blowout. I'm going to do a Flexi Rod set, I think, next. But for now, this was Hair Needs to Must Have. Get you this Kiss Handles Blow Dryer. It will change your life.